Russia's Ministry of Defense announced the arrival of its newest fourth-generation nuclear-powered cruise missile submarine, Arkhangelsk, to its permanent base in the Northern Fleet. Accompanied by images and videos shared on Telegram, this deployment further solidifies Russia's growing Arctic presence. According to the sub's commander, Captain First Rank Alexander Gladkov, the crew successfully completed its interbase transfer, with all systems reported as operational and the crew ready for upcoming missions. The next step will involve intensive training drills before Arkhangelsk is integrated into the Northern Fleet's constant combat readiness forces. This development follows a formal commissioning ceremony on December 27, 2024, at the Sevmash shipyard in Severodvysk, attended by Russia's Navy Commander-in-Chief Admiral Alexander Moiseev. The Yasin M-class subs are considered among Russia's most advanced, equipped with caliber and Onyx missiles and designed to challenge NATO's maritime dominance. The Arkhangelsk is equipped with a suite of sophisticated technologies and armaments. With a submerged displacement of about 13,800 tons, it measures 130 meters in length and has a beam of 13 meters, allowing it to dive to depths of up to 600 meters. It can sustain missions for up to 100 days without surfacing, powered by an OK650 kpm pressurized water reactor which generates 43,000 shaft horsepower enabling a maximum submerged speed of 35 knots. In terms of armament, the Arkhangels features a vertical launch system, VLS, with the capacity to deploy up to 32 missiles. These include the Zircon hypersonic missiles, which are known for their high speed and long range, the Onyx anti-ship missiles, and the Caliber Place cruise missiles. Additionally, it has 10 torpedo tubes equipped with Fuglier heavyweight torpedoes, enhancing its close combat capabilities. The submarine is also fitted with advanced sensors like the Rimhat ESM, ECM and Snoop Pair surface search radar, which significantly improve its detection and defensive capabilities against adversaries. The operational role of the Arkhangels within the Russian Northern Fleet is multifaceted, emphasizing strategic deterrence and power projection. The Northern Fleet, based in Severomorsk, operates in the Arctic, Barents Sea, and Kara Sea, with a significant focus on protecting Russia's northern frontier, especially in light of the geopolitical dynamics involving NATO and the ongoing situation in Ukraine. The Arkhangelsk's primary roles include strategic deterrence, anti-submarine warfare, ASW, power projection, and Arctic operations. By patrolling the Arctic waters and the North Atlantic, it ensures a survivable second strike capability in nuclear scenarios, safeguarding Russia's ballistic missile submarines that carry nuclear weapons. The Arctic operations involving the Arkhangels and similar submarines in the Russian Northern Fleet are strategically pivotal due to several key factors. The Arctic region is becoming increasingly central to global politics due to climate change-induced ice melt, which has opened new navigational routes and access to previously untapped natural resources like oil, gas, and minerals. Russia claims a significant portion of the Arctic shelf, and the presence of advanced submarines like the Arkhangels is a direct assertion of sovereignty and control over these areas. The Northern Fleet submarines are stationed to protect and project power across the Northern Sea Route, which Russia sees as an economic lifeline connecting Asia to Europe via shorter, ice-free shipping lanes. By deploying submarines such as the Arkhangels, Russia can monitor, secure, and potentially control this route, influencing international maritime traffic and ensuring national security against potential threats. The Arctic is not only about economic interests but also serves as a stage for military posturing. The Arctic waters are a critical path for ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, from both Russia and the US to reach strategic patrol areas, 
where they can remain undetected while prepared to launch nuclear missiles. The Archangel Skay's role includes protecting these SSBNs from enemy anti-submarine warfare assets, thereby ensuring a credible nuclear deterrent. Its stealth capabilities allow it to operate undetected under the ice, providing a strategic advantage in maintaining this deterrence. Submarines like the Archangels might also partake in scientific missions in the Arctic, gathering data on oceanography, ice conditions, and climate change, which are crucial for both scientific understanding and military strategy. Although primarily a military asset, their presence can support broader national interests in environmental monitoring. The Yasin M class, including the Arkangels, is equipped with technology allowing operations under ice, a capability not matched by many other navies. This includes specialized navigation systems, sonar, and communication equipment adapted for the unique challenges of the Arctic environment where traditional methods might fail due to ice cover or severe weather conditions. Exercises and Demonstrations Russia frequently conducts naval exercises in the Arctic, involving submarines, icebreakers, and surface ships. These exercises serve multiple purposes, training for cold weather and ice navigation, demonstrating military capabilities to allies and adversaries alike and asserting dominance in the region. The Archangels would likely participate in such exercises, showcasing its endurance and combat readiness. Environmental Challenges Operating in the Arctic presents unique challenges, from the harsh environment affecting equipment to the need for self-sufficiency in terms of supplies and repairs. The Archangel Skay's design considers these aspects, with emphasis on endurance, the ability to break through or navigate under ice, and systems resistant to the extreme cold. In summary, the Archangel Skay's role in Arctic operations is integral to Russia's military strategy, focusing on securing economic interests, maintaining strategic deterrence, and asserting military presence in a rapidly changing geopolitical landscape. This role extends beyond mere combat capabilities, encompassing surveillance, environmental adaptation, and international posturing, all of which are crucial for Russia's ambitions in the Arctic.